Hey guys, it's Alex with my much awaited review of the Goso um, Dimple Pick set, which arrived approximately 45 days after ordering it from the People's Republic of China. Um, so, a couple different shaft widths, thicknesses, flag sizes. Some of them look kind of the same, but they're really not if you play with them. Um, they're, I mean, the steel feels pretty good. Um, doesn't twist badly. Um, it springs back readily. Um, but um, it's kind of thick. Um, so if I get my micrometer out here, let's measure it for you. Measuring about 80 thousandths or um, 2.6 mil. So, um, this other one, which I, I like this shape, but the thickness on this, which I could turn it that way and you could see the, well, no, you can't, but let's see the thing. So it's about 1.1 mil or 46 thousandths. It's still pretty thick for a lock pick. If we look at the thickness of the flag part of one of these, um, Maybe be a little tricky to do, but... So that's about the thickness of a fairly heavy uh, pick. Um, I found that in a lot of the higher precision locks that's just too thick to clear the, um, the really, really low set pins. Um, so I think some filing will be required. So this looks kind of like it's laser cut on the back. This back edge is not really a bearing edge, but you know, it, you know, just missing polish there. Same deal here. You can see it all the way down. That's in frame. Yeah, comes all the way down. Um, but um, so the, you know, it's going to be in the lock, you know, this way or this way. So this, these relatively smooth areas here, and they are pretty darn smooth. Um, are facing there, but what you do have is a sharp corner on each of the four corners, and that A wants to dig in, it gets caught in the wards and makes the thing want to move in unexpected directions, um, and the little between the corner and these little gritty thing, it's sometimes pretty hard to feel what's going on. Okay, now let me see if I can show you something I really do like. The one thing I really do like, and I hope you can see it, is that they are beveled. You can see it really well there in profile. Um, the front and the back to a, some extent and the, the edge. Um, the Southord set really didn't come with much of a bevel anywhere. This is really nice for, for sliding it in under pins and the bevel on the, on the, um, on the rear is is just super important for being able to get the bloody thing back out. They're all sort of a full tang. The, the metal comes all the way down. Um, and you can even see, there we go. You can see the, the end of the shaft coming out there. So if you didn't like this rubber handle, which is pretty hard rubber, it gives a pretty good feedback. It's not great, it does twist a little bit. A really good traction on it because it's pretty heavy. Um, sort of serrations in it. Um, <clears throat> so that's not too bad. One thing is it's perfectly round and so sometimes you get disoriented. You can look at the back and see where you are, although you can't necessarily tell whether you're up or down. Um, and of course you can touch here, but that may not always be convenient. So, But ergonomically they're not too bad. Um, and uh, because it's just a basically a rubber tube with a piece of metal in it, you could Pull this off and put on your own handle or convert it to a quick pick or um, probably even just trim it down and put it in your southward um, handle if you wanted. I think it's a nice handle. Metal gives you a little better feedback. A little bit heavier construction there. There's a little bit of a curve to it. A little bit of a, a, bit of a curve to it and again it's beveled. 
just for reference, the length on these, they're not all the same, but they're on the order of four and a half, five inches, something like that. They, they vary a little bit, but four and a half inches for comparison, this Peterson diamond is um, four and a half, five inches, so pretty standard length for a lock pick. These guys, now, um, you probably haven't seen me using these very much. Um, every dimple pick set that I get has one of these. I have no idea what this is for. Maybe somebody can respond, but I've never found any lock that this is useful for doing anything with. It's really thick, it's very bulky, um, it, it doesn't get in between the wards. I have no idea what this is for. Maybe some kind of particular special lock. I mean, I, if someone can under, explain that to me, that'd be great. Here's a diamond, and, and that's a, a pretty heavy diamond, and yeah, okay, fine. Here's the problem with it. Look how thick that is, okay? That is, mic back out here. It's about 050, five, 50 thousandths of an inch, or about uh, 1.3 mil. That's really, really thick. Uh, there's not a lot of locks that have enough clearance to to do anything useful with this. Certainly not a dimple lock, and there's no, no bevel on it at all. Same deal with this guy. It's kind of a lifter. Um, and again, he's really, he's made of that same pretty thick stock. Let me turn him this way. There we go. Oddly, with a better finish than a lot of the other ones, but, um, and you can see it's carbon steel. It's getting a little bit of, a little bit of rust on it. I mean, and the shaft itself is pretty, it's pretty heavy as well. Um, it's about 2.3 mil or, about 060, it's a little heavy there, and it's a pretty high diamond. So it's about a two, that's actually about a number two aspect ratio. But So of these three, the only one I've ever used for anything was this one. If you saw the LSL lock, uh, padlock video, I used it because I had, it was a tubular lock. There was no warding or anything. This little divot here um, made uh, made it really easy to find the pins, and it's extremely heavy. I mean, you can really bear down on that. Um, and it's wide, so it does sit on the pin pretty well, doesn't fall off. And so it actually gave me really good leverage in there. I can't imagine a lot of locks where that would be useful. So these three, you know, and again, the tensors, I don't know where they went, but they're the standard kind of uh, little Z-shaped things. You get one or two of those. Um, uh, here's some, here's one I think, but you know, comes with these and I don't know a few other tensors. Nothing special. It would have been nice if they had used different colors or something for the left and the right. I may get a little piece of tape or something, put it on there, because um, I, I just can't tell them apart. Um, so that's uh, kind of irritating. They came in this box, um, which on the outside looks, you know, unsurprising, um, but unfortunately, you can see the tape here, this side had completely, was completely detached when I received it, brand new in the box, um, and the box itself is made out of particle board, cardboard, uh, something not very strong, and obviously it's not glued together very well. This guy's probably going to need a little tape too. And the, in fact, the hinge is basically um, just the paper on the outside. So um, this is one of those rare occurrences where I might actually suggest that they use plastic, uh, put it in a plastic box, because even a low-grade plastic box I think would be more structurally sound than this, but they do all fit in there. It's kind of nice. The tensors that came with it that are pretty useless would also fit in here. Um, so you do get a little box to organize it. Um, I have not modified any of these picks yet. Um, we discussed some of the fit and finish problems with them, um, but I wanted to do a review um, and get pictures of them while they were sort of in their virgin state. Some of these have been used, but I haven't gone at them with sandpaper or files or anything yet. I will, and I may report back. Um, that said, my overall impression is that the shapes are nice. This whole set was, I can't remember, 30, 20, 20 to 40 dollars US, uh, which is not bad. Um, the steel seems pretty good, and I think with 
some investment of time with the, on the on the uh, sander, grinder, polisher, whatever, um, I probably can make these into get a few pretty good dimple picks out of these. It may be some patterns for uh, making some of my own. Um, I can't stand making these little tiny things. They're getting them square and stuff is a pain. Um, so uh, if you're looking for something that's going to work out of the box. Well, you're out of luck because I haven't found a single product that does. Um, these, I have picked some locks with these, but um, with varying results. Um, but if you're looking for something that maybe will make a basis for, you know, a set of picks that might be useful um, and you're willing to invest a little bit of time, uh, probably a decent value. Um, and uh, I am happy so far with the steel, which makes me happy, So because that's what you're paying for. So anyhow, um, that's the Goso. Uh, locksmith tool dimple pick set. Um, can't remember exactly how many picks are in there, but it's about 15 or 16. And um, yeah, that's it. So anyway, this is Alex. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Um, and uh, as always, have fun and keep it legal. Cheers.